Hello friends! Uh, today I am doing a vlog of reading a book that was not only recommended to me by my friend Katrina, Katrina Brown is her channel, but it's also a book club pick for Kelsey over at Slime and Slashers, her book club pick for September. And that is The Amulet by Michael McDowell. This is like my fourth Michael McDowell, I think. And I have this beautiful copy. I know these are hard to find. Um, so I will read the back. It says, they all thought it would be such a pretty gift. A simple pendant on a glittering golden chain to the residents of Pinecone, Alabama. It's the prettiest thing they ever saw. A gift of beauty. Um, and then it just goes down through. It says, a gift of evil. A policeman found it in the ashes. It passed from the dead to the living. So... I've already read it. This is future me. And so basically this is a story of um, a woman whose husband comes home from the Vietnam War and her mother-in-law starts this cycle of the amulet and the amulet gets passed from person to person to person and whoever has the amulet is going to kill people or die or it says it on the front of this, not a spoiler. It says whoever possesses it must kill and be killed. And a lot of people die in this book. It is a little bit of a slow start, but here is the start of my blog. So I am about 100 pages into the amulet. Um, the first like 30 or so pages, um, the author is setting you up to know how this town is, you know, the era that it is being set in, which is like Vietnam time. And the town is kind of like down on its luck, kind of like there's a factory that makes guns and some of the women are working there while the men are off to war. Our main character lives with her mother-in-law. She works at the factory and her husband came back injured from the war. So, long story short, somebody that works at the factory was friends with her husband and he came to visit. Well, the mother had this amulet that he wanted, that she wanted to gift this man's wife. And that's when everything starts to hit the fan. The first deaths in this book were very surprising to me, like the whole... I don't want to give it away, but I just got to, like, the second round of deaths, and that was kind of surprising, too. So, now that things are actually moving along in this book, it's very interesting, and I think that it'll be faster read it to read for me. Um, I'm just hoping that the book explains why the amulet has this power over people. So, I'll check in again later. Necklace. I'm not, I'm about halfway through, maybe a little more. 11 people have been killed within about a week from this necklace being let out into the world. Um, our main character is finally, well, she had a suspicion, but like, so many deaths now and everybody has had this necklace in their uh, possession at the time of these deaths. So I'm hoping we are going to start figuring out why the necklace has this ability and causes this madness, sudden rage that these people... It's been a woman the whole, every time too, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I'm enjoying it. Once all the action started, it was a faster read. I feel like the older books, like these uh, mass markets, seem to be slower to read for me. I don't know why. But I'm hoping to have this done in the next day or so and move on to the next book. I will check in again later. So I just finished The Amulet. Um, a lot of people die in this book, a lot, which I was kind of expecting, but not this many. Um, 
I am stuck between a three and a four. I don't do halves. I wish that Goodreads would let you do half stars. But I wanted an explanation. It ends with no explanation. None. What made this amulet have these powers over people? I don't like that in any type of book. Any, I need more information. But once the action got going, it was a lot of death. So I'm not sure. It's a between a three and a four, probably more towards a four, but that's it on that book. And that is it for my vlog on the amulet. I finished this probably a couple of weeks ago. Um, no, last week. It feel, feels like a couple weeks ago. I ended up giving it four stars. Um, it was a lot slower than I expected it to be. I enjoyed it for the most part, but I do have to say that over the past week or so, I have been in a reading slump and I think this book is to blame. Not because it was bad, not because it was the best book ever and I just couldn't find anything to match up with it. I don't know why exactly, but it put me in a reading slump. I am very glad that I read it. Um, I do want to read, I think I have Katie to read and I have Cold Water, is it co no, something water <laughs> book from Michael McDowell and I will get to those. Um, but that is it for my reading vlog. Katrina made a great uh, recommendation. And I know that they, she is co-hosting Kelsey's discussion for this book sometime this month. It has not been announced yet, but look out for it if you want to join along. I will be there because I'm interested to see what everybody else thought about it. But that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!